Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can make a, a secret or a hidden door. Uh, in my example, I'm going to use a, a bookcase, so it's kind of a bookcase door. Uh, this is something cool you can do if you just want a little extra flair, or you want to live out sort of your uh, hidden Batcave uh, secret agent fantasy. Uh, I have a bookshelf here and then a dresser. On the dresser I have a switch which is just sticking out. I'm going to activate it. It's going to make the uh, book uh, bookcase disappear. Uh, and then I'm going to deactivate it to turn it off. Uh, so when we go into the secret room, we're going to see there's a couple things in the floor. Uh, I have a spike board trap. Uh, if I repair it, it brings back the bookshelf. So this actually uses some of the stacking stuff that uh, I've talked about in the other uh, tip and trick videos. A lot of this is actually going to use stuff that's in those videos. Uh, if you reactivate it, it'll open again uh, and just repair to bring that back. So you have a switch that's going to open it. Nobody can see the switch. Uh, and then you can activate and uh, deactivate it with the trap board. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do this, and to do it we're going to start with a uh, stash box, interestingly enough, a floor safe. Uh, and This is going to act a little bit like a rug, but it's a lot thicker than a rug. Uh, and we're going to put a spike board trap on it. Uh, so the reason for this is because just on the uh, foundation tiles the spike board uh, sits too low to wire, so we need to raise it up a little bit. Uh, you could certainly use some rugs, but uh, you have to stack them and they're not as easy to use. Uh, and I feel like the floor safe is just smaller, so uh, it's hard to grab, so you can actually activate the spike board trap to destroy it, uh, and then you're free to grab the uh, floor safe object. I just pick it up, and we're going to stick it in a door. You want just the uh, the fat end of the spike board just a little out of the door, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to put that uh, bookshelf on top of it. Uh, so we can go ahead, just get that lined up here. Just want a little bit just enough that we can sit a, a, a bookshelf on the edge of it. Uh, and then we're going to go to the... I'm using the, this this bookshelf from the stash category. Uh, one of the few items that, that does fit um, the whole door. Uh, and I'm going to try to just position it to flush with the door. So I just want to cover the edges just so it's not very easy to see. And just have to adjust it a little bit. Just takes a little bit of... Uh, messing around. You could also use the flamer trick to just ram it in there. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I don't feel like you need to do it with uh, something this large and it gets pretty close. So uh, Once you have it positioned where you want, and I'm a little I'm a little anal about, about it, but uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the wiring. Uh, and I'll actually repair this just, just to test that this works. You want to make sure that it's on the trap. Yeah, perfect. So we'll, we'll just uh, we'll go ahead and uh, repair that. I let you know that it works. Uh, but we're going to set up the wiring, uh, and we're going to use a uh, something from the wall decor. So we're just going to use a painting. So this is a lot like the rug connector glitch. Uh, actually, it's exactly the same, except using a painting. If you don't know what that is, you're going to find out. Uh, and we're going to take two connectors and just stick those on. <clears throat> now I'll say there's probably easier ways that you could wire this. Um, I don't know. I'm personally kind of a sloppy builder. Uh, so maybe you'll find some better ways you can do this for yourself, but I want you to understand the example. So we put two connectors on, we wire one to the spike board. We're going to wire the other to a generator. Uh, I'm just going to put a little tiny generator. I'm going to wire that on. Uh, and here's where the, uh, the glitch comes in, so we're just going to grab that painting and uh, just move it a couple times. Uh, and once you do that, you're going to be able to move this painting uh, anywhere you want. Uh, if you ever watch one of Jug's videos, he does the same thing with uh, Rug. Uh, it's a really handy way to hide, hide different wires and things. Uh, next we're going to get a switch. This is uh, just a basic connector switch, I believe. And then we're going to choose something to hide it with. So I just use this uh, dresser. Now I'm going to kind of line it up next to it just because I want to compare the height of the dresser to the switch. And I'm going to kind of line it up because um, I'm going to glitch these th two things together and I, I just want the tip of that to, to stick out. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do uh, we're going to wire these together. So we're going to grab that painting, now you can move it wherever you want uh, and we can put it right next to that switch and then we're going to hook the switch. We're going to turn it off first otherwise we're going to have a minor disaster uh, and then we're going to wire them to the connector. Uh, to both connectors, I should say. 
And then we're going to do the same thing we just did, which is we need to pick that painting up, just move it a couple little times, make sure it adjusts. So the reason we do this is just so the wires will uh, glitch on properly. Uh, and then we'll just move it wherever. You could Again, you could put this anywhere, but this is just for my example. This is a lot easier. Perfect. So everything's all wired together. Why don't we just give a little test run? Cool. Uh, so this is basically the, the what's going to be our secret door. So I'm going to have to turn this switch off. Uh, it's just so when I repair the spike board, uh, it doesn't just go off again. Nice. Uh, now to get these two things together, so this is a combination of the flamer and uh, stacking trick that's in some of the other, a um, couple of the other videos. Just going to grab a flamer, we're just going to flamer this wall. Uh, so that's going to destroy the wall, but most importantly it's going to make that connector disappear. Uh, and we'll, uh, when we go to the edit, uh, you'll see the connector isn't, uh, isn't there, the wire mesh isn't there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so we can take that dresser, we can just put it where it was. So we'll just line it up with the wall. Now, of course, uh, in your real camp, you probably will have a better arrangement than this, but uh, just for the sake of example, I'm just putting putting it wherever, doing whatever, uh, just just to show you how it works. Uh, so when I repair the wall, that's going to bring the switch back. Uh, so now when we look at the dresser, you'll see just the tip, <laughs> just just the tip, uh, and I can't quite see it. So and this might be something that'll happen to you. So I, I haven't quite put the dresser far enough back. Uh, so I just need to do that again. So I just need to bust the wall. Let's put this down here. Destroy the wall. And uh, I just need to get this a little more snug. Just push it a little further back there. Here we go. That should be fine. Maybe just try a little. There we go. Uh, so same thing, I'll just repair the wall. And uh, yeah, so now let's try to see if we can get it. Ah, there we go. Uh, activate it. What's going on here? Uh, and this could also happen to you, so you might have a little malfunction here. Let me see what the problem is. What the hell is going on here? It looks uh, fine to... Wait a second here. Ah, yes. Well, I've destroyed my own generator. Well. Don't do that, and you'll be fine. So I'll just prepare that, to put it back. Uh, and now, this should work. Excellent. Uh, so this is just the basics of how to set that up. And I'm going to show you some other stuff. Uh, so really, there's uh, probably items that just fit across the whole door there's not a whole lot of them so there's like a lot of stuff in the stash I guess so like the shelf uh, hay bales also work so that's kind of a cool way to have like a hidden uh, outdoor entrance uh, you do all the exact same things with the spike board trap and, and etc uh, actually you wouldn't need the uh, the uh, floor safe outside because you can wire uh, without foundation then you also have your other connectors so what's uh, good to note about these connectors uh, including this one, uh, is that you can activate them pretty much anywhere that you can touch them. So on there I had the tip, uh, on this one, uh, even at the tip of this. So pretty much any part of the object uh, will work as an activation point, and, th and that's very valuable when making these secret switches. Uh, so you don't need to necessarily have the switch part of the switch exposed, uh, just any part of it. So I actually have some examples where I've done some other objects. Uh, this is my favorite one where I just have a toilet uh, and what I've actually done is I've made a handle. So you actually don't kind of notice it when you look at it, but that handle uh, is the foot of a conduit switch. If I look behind, uh, I haven't done anything fancy. I just put it on a stash box, I door glitched it, uh, and then I flamer glitched the toilet into the conduit. Uh, but on the outside, it looks like it's a, it's a handle. So maybe you want to flush your broken toilet and then it opens a secret door, something like that, something cool you can do. Uh, and then of course it works. You can hear it switching back and forth. Uh, then I did some other objects. You have like your Nuka-Cola, Nuka-Cola vendor. I think it's fun to kind of glitch stuff into this. Uh, so I have like a little switch in there, a pylon switch. And then of course uh, I have that on a spike board trap because uh, I use that to get that in there. Uh, this I just use like a flamer glitch. So that's like an oven. Uh, you can see it's got the little uh, point on there. 
Um, certainly you can hide these better than I have, I just set them up kind of haphazardly. Um, this one didn't turn out as well, uh, but uh, you can also see that I have the feet of the conduit switch kind of sticking out there. And uh, how I got that in there actually was to use the flamer stacking method on the floor safe, which is actually a pretty handy trick. So I'm going to maybe uh, show you how that works. I'll uh, move the new stand off. Um, so what I actually did is I destroyed the floor safe underneath, so you can destroy that. I don't think you can destroy like rugs and that sort of thing with the flamer, but you can destroy those uh, stash boxes. So uh, give it a try and let me know what you think. If you'd like to see uh, some cool stuff.